Hey everybody, this is Chris. Thanks for hanging out with me in my game room. And as you can see, we are not in the game room right now. In fact, we are on the road heading to Ohio to pick up a brand new Stern Ghostbusters Premium. I've had that game on order, it seems, for about seven years now. So this is an exciting day. Even the stars are happy. Let's go. Come on, God. Hey, <laughs> we are heading to Tilt Amusements to pick up our game. We have a rented minivan here. Um, normally I have new in box games shipped, but I don't know. I kind of felt like taking one little trip with a friend of mine here and picking the game up in person. I thought it would be fun. When Stern announced that Ghostbusters was their next game, as you can imagine, I was pretty darn excited. Ghostbusters is, without a doubt, one of my favorite things from the 80s, and I think it's about darn time there is an actual machine. Now, there are three versions of this game, as you guys know. Stern uses the three-tier system. There's the Pro, there's the Premium, and the LE. So I went with the Premium. I really, really like the Stay Puft Premium, and um, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to get it set up, as you can imagine. When I was a kid, the first Ghostbusters movie was a favorite. I liked the second one a lot, too. I loved the real Ghostbusters cartoon. When I got to meet Ernie Hudson and get his autograph and talk to him for a little bit, I think I was about as geeky as I could ever get. If you can imagine me being any more geeky than I already am. So that was really, really fun. I almost wish I could meet Ernie Hudson now after I get this translate so I can get him to sign it because he did custom speech for this game, which is really, really cool. So we're going to head in now. We're going to load the game up. We're going to play a few games Trent has set up for us just for fun. And then we're going to get that thing home. So let's head in. How do you look at that? Look at all these games stacked up. Some of them are empty, huh? but some of them are not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is it right there. We have top men working on it right now. Top men. <laughs> oh look, here's the last game I bought. It uh, looks like it maybe works. <laughs> hey, should I buy another game and put it in my truck, Mr. Kitty? Yes. yes. He just said yes. All right, and he almost fell. He was so excited. Play a few games while we're here, eh? We know this one. Unbox this on my channel. It's when you see it in person, it's really neat. Uh, well, maybe if it wants to do it. There you go. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was definitely one of the appealing things of the LE. You know, no question. And the insignia on the back box lights up too. Picked up a game and now we're playing games and I keep forgetting I've got a game in the car. Nice, you locked it. Plunge her away.
This is cool. I've never actually seen this version of ACDC before with this particular design. It's pretty cool. See how it's a jukebox back there? Oh yeah. To select all the songs. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty good. Play one. Oh, let's just do classic. So I just want to try. We are doing cheating at your service. What do you think you're doing, Pilgrim? <laughs> See if I can get him. Well, that's See. all, folks. Good fight, Split. Time to get home. These are Stern's setup instructions, very specific. And I think everything that says don't do, we probably just did in the video. Do not use this ball plunger as a handle. Do not watch the video I just put up. Stern. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I did not ever, ever do that. <laughs> They look and it's bent down. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Here we go. Little box. Oh. Yeah, cool. well, look like the cord went back. Oh. Oh. And new pinball smell. I love new pinball smell. We came, we saw, we kicked it. <laughs> oh, hello, Slimer. Here it comes. Okay, so what do we have in here? Look at this. John Trudeau always makes these really cool stand-ups, so it comes with this little stand. And it stands up, so you can put it next to the game or on top or whatever you want to do there. It's, it's, the, it's the taxi cab ghost, isn't it? <laughs> I can't tell is that his hat? It looks like it. Yeah. Like the one. The That's one. cool. Plastic, is that the rest of these are extra decal? Looks like that's a Ghostbuster bump. That's that bumper sticker. We're whining about it. Me? I have a couple post-it notes of some adjustments I want to make before I even start a game. And that's the nice part about getting a game that comes out months after the other ones, is people have already made notes of some changes and stuff they want to tweak. For example, the air balls coming off the left ramp, I guess, are really, really huge on the premium and LE. And I actually purchased an air ball protector from Florida. Pinball Life sells Scolari Brothers Target Fixes, which are actually springs that are of a better tension so that the Scolari Brothers will actually drop and not cause the ball to like smash through them or pounce back. We're probably going to put some Mylar in the shooter lane and stuff like that at some point.
and we're on. All right, kids, turned on. We're close on this one. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. Great kind of loud. <laughs> set up we played a game I hope you enjoyed this video the next time we're gonna put on a bunch of mods in fact there's a whole bunch of updates and mods on this game and we're gonna go through it together actually it's not the next time it's the next next time the next video is an exclusive 30 minute interview with John Trudeau at Stern Pinball it's really exciting it's all in the making of Ghostbusters he was nice enough to sit down with me and talk about this game when I was in Chicago, and I am so excited to share it with you. And that's next time. So, until then, keep on flipping and keep on busting. Hey, you ever see a ghost?
We really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. I blame myself. Go on.